Let's talk about some depressing news. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <sighs> PSVR okay. two, as it's as it's nicknamed more by the fans, never by the company, may not be releasing until twenty twenty two, or it might release as something different, or not at all. <sighs> so Jim Ryan, the president and CEO of Sony, uh, talked about this, and he said, "quote." I think we're more than a few minutes from the future of VR. PlayStation believes in VR. Sony believes in VR. And we definitely believe at some point in the future, VR will, will represent a meaningful component of the interactive entertainment. Will it be this year? No. Will it be next year? No. But it will come at some stage. We believe that. And we're very pleased with all the experience we've gained with PlayStation VR. And we look forward to seeing where that takes us in the future. End quote. So this has led to not only crazy speculation, channels psvr only channels just losing their minds like this is this is hit us all right where it hurts who love the psvr Ugh. but the really weird part where the story takes an interesting turn so like i just ordered my adapter to be able to make my psvr work on the ps5 if you're trying to play a new psvr release on the ps5 you actually will not be playing the ps5 game when you get the ps5 game they're going to give you a backwards compatible psvr or ps4 game and that's what you're going to be playing is that backwards compatible game. So this is even going as far as saying that you may not be getting anything extra out of the more powerful hardware of the PS5. Um, you may just be playing PS4 specific games on your PSVR. So basically oh, wow. PSVR is PS4. And if there's a PSVR 2, it may be PS5, but there may not actually be any crossing of these two. So this is that, like the worst possible news for psvr right now <laughs> this, yeah, this, this is brutal this, yeah this is a punch in the gut uh you know some there is some of us speculating that the, the problem was though there's all these patents and everything that showed they were working on something it might just be that quest 2 has literally destroyed their margin to even try and so now jim ryan might be saying there is a future but they're going to wait till they have something innovative enough to actually compete in the market because just like we touched on earlier if they launch a psvr 2 right now and even it's pretty good, they're they're gonna have to compete against the Quest too. So like, even if it comes out with better resolution, better controllers, better tracking, like all of that may not be enough to get people away from the Quest too. That's totally wireless. So but you see, I I don't know. It, it just it feels like they're not in the same market as the Quest two though. It feels like they're p competing against the PC VR market, but for people that already have a PlayStation, I, right. I feel like that there could be a market there and. It's just, it's unfortunate. I know that Rip and I have kind of been the PlayStation haters, um, but it's really sad to see this go. It's sad to see a company kind of ducking out of the VR race. And, you know, it's it's removing an entire segment of the market that has seen some really incredible exclusive in games. So th this, is, this is really disheartening news. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's been painful and it's led to tons of speculation, but we don't, there's nothing solid out there yet. So we'll keep you all posted as more comes out, but it does kind of lead to like the fact that maybe the quest is going to kill some of the VR industry because people can't compete. And even we talked about this a few weeks ago, Congress was like looking at this, like, should we stop what they're doing to VR? Cause they're trying to create a monopoly and monopolies technically aren't allowed. So they're yeah, even like investigating technically. this. Yeah, technically. <laughs> they're investigating this. Like, should this be considered? Well, maybe this is what's causing Sony to rethink their strategy right now. So, yeah, it uh, it hurts our feelings. Hopefully, we'll get some better news in PSR, and we'll we'll keep you updated as soon as we get any news. Uh, I hope they bring something back. I don't want to, I don't want Sony to back out of that. It's yeah. it's they're so. I mean, like even. Oh, my hands aren't working. There we go. Um, even like, okay, they never had a huge mark in the industry um, compared to what Facebook's been doing, but they've still been the biggest players besides Oculus. Like losing them is going to be big for VR. That's a lot of money that's not going into the VR industry. It's true. So. I know a lot of uh, PlayStation VR players that are purely in it because, like you said, they already have the console. And without that, I don't even think they would be willing to pick up a Quest. Like, they're not oh, yeah. that avid into VR, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, right. So yeah, that is pretty, pretty rough.